live, 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 live. I'm not driving, of course, so hands are off the wheel. I can take any questions or comments about the latest rumor. Uh, and that latest rumor as we approach transfer deadline day is Lyndon Dykes. That's right, QPR's leading man at the moment. Of course, they don't have Charlie Austin no more. It's, of course, the, fo the focal point for their attack. And he has been linked with a couple other teams as well uh, in the championship uh, to, uh, to make a switch on deadline day. Uh, so what is Lyndon, or who is Lyndon Dykes, or what is Lyndon Dykes? Of course, he is half Australian, half Scottish, and he has actually chosen the the the, uh, the Tartan Army as his uh, country of choice, playing now 21 times for the Scots, scoring six times in total. But what about his time at QPR? We'll elaborate on that in a minute. But uh, of course, he is of course 1.88 meters tall. He's a gangly little figure, and he is an out and out striker. Of course, Gallagher uh, is in that same mold as well, and. Uh, from my understanding, I think a lot of folks out there uh, are saying uh, he is the, the, the type of striker Yondar Thomason is looking for to, to spearhead Rovers' attack. We have been using uh, forwards as wide men. Of course, Diaz has been a, a key a proponent of that. Uh, and, and right here, right now, uh, we are using, or, or Yondar Thompson is using uh, the players that were left for him. So he is hoping to craft his side and crafting uh, his side uh, right here, right now, would be to reshape the attack. And it is a, an area of concern for a lot of other fans, including myself. Um, you know, a lot of our focus and attention has been on uh, re re revamping the de defence. That seems to have kind of taken a back seat right now. That guy's bloody jumped a red light. Did I ever see one? Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy driving. He must be late for the office. Uh, but anyway, well, eight, eight metres tall. Of course, he could, it could be a, a, a key figure in the box. It's quite tall, you know, 188. I think that's over six foot, six two. Uh, it might be around about my height. Uh, maybe a little bit b bigger than me. Um, he's valued around about three million pounds. Will we get him for three? Three million pounds. We will have to see if that is to progress. Uh, right footed as well. He can play out left as an inside forward if if um, if Yundal Thompson, was, uh, Yundal Thompson wants to go there. Uh, but for me, the, the flexibility is key. I do think we do need a predominantly out and out striker, and of course he does fit that uh, that style. Uh, his stats for QPR are pretty pretty is it on average. Twenty two goals out of eighty six games for QPR, eight assists. So it does look like he is a little selfish moving forward, um, but uh, he does know where the back of the net is. Car, well, I don't know. Uh, any QPR fans watching this one? Uh, I'm, I'm getting a bit of mixed reactions from them on Twitter. Some say, you know, take them, take them off our hands. Maybe the same sort of uh, mentality we have with Sam Gallagher. And often some players who fit in that sort of category just need a change. Uh, changes are always as good as a reboot. So Lyndon Dykes could uh, prosper from changing, of course. Uh, previously, uh, Livingston scored 14 goals in 36 games up north, north of the border. 10 assists there. And like I said, six goals already for Scotland in 21 games. What's that? One every three, one every four, something like that. So he is... Uh, he knows what the back of the net is. He's 26 years of age. Again, more mature than what we've got right now. 27 in October. Um, so what do you take on that? Uh, should we go all out for them? I know we're, we are looking at, potentially looking at a couple of other players as well. George Hurst from Leicester. Young gun extraordinaire. And if I was to make a pick between those two deals, of course, on a permanent deal, both, either one or the other, I would go for Hurst. Um, yeah, his recent record with Rotherham in the Championship was pretty terrible. No goals in 30-odd games. But he did find the back of the net quite cons uh, quite consistently. Holy shit, the bed. I tell you what, some of these drivers this morning. Oh, my gosh. He came flying out of nowhere there. Uh, he sideswiped us. There he is. Is that him in the middle there? Um, so, George Hurst or bloody uh, Lyndon Dykes. I'm holding the bar here. I'm holding the bar, boys, just in case. A little bit rocky. Uh, we mean, what are you giggling at? What are you giggling at? So, uh, what are you, what's your take on on, on Lyndon Dykes? Um, the beauty or or the benefit for that deal is he's he's based in England, of course. We don't any I think any business now when you're looking at foreigners uh, abroad, players abroad, you're gonna you're gonna have to struggle with a bit of paperwork considering the old Brexit rules these days. Uh, so if we are forced to forced our hand uh, to look at the domestic market, uh, what who other who other what other strikers are out there that Rovers could could benefit from because realistically, realistically, as of right here, right here, right now, if this you know we are selling Diaz this week, it's happening whether whether we want it or not. Um, we need a replacement. We we need a replacement for him, no matter what. But realistically, we needed a replacement or an addition to him up top. So technically, we needed two. 
So will it be George Hurst and Lyndon Dykes? Uh, that's, of course, to be decided in the next few days. A busy, busy few days as well. Make sure you smash your subscribe, smash the thumbs up, smash the little bell. And also check out the old description there and vote, vote, vote for best content creator, best in video for a football organization and also best club content creator for the football league as well. The link is in the description. It's 100% free. You could be doing us an absolute favor here in deepest, darkest Pennsylvania. Uh, so on Thursday, we will be having a live transfer window special. We'll have Jacob on the house, Alex Haben as well. So they will be dropping their thoughts and opinions and maybe, just maybe, we'll catch a live deal as it happens uh, but of course it'll be a summary as well of all the other big business going on in the championship maybe in the Premier League and beyond so that's to, to look forward to also tomorrow is Blackpool Blackpool at home against Rovers I will not be doing the watch long it'll be the debut for Pete from Philly Rovers he will be there in the hot seat uh, calling the shots so be uh, be welcoming to him give him of course a warm reception and, uh, and uh, yes uh, ask him many many questions to get to know him a little bit better so uh, yes Lynn Lyndon Dykes, 3 million rated, of course, if he goes. I'm sure QPR will be demanding a bit more money than that, considering he has a little bit of time left on his contract. Um, and yeah, uh, any rum, I know I've, I've been scouring the uh, brfcs.com forum for potential deals and stuff like that. There was talk a long, long time ago of Josh Bowler. That seems to not be happening. Uh, it looks like he is bound for the Premier League, whether it's Forest or Leicester City. That's right. I did speak with uh, Lee Charles of Blackpool uh, TV or Blackpool Fan TV or whatever, whatever he calls him, his channel over there. There. Um, he says that Leicester City are rumoured to be edging closer to a deal for that. So no Josh Bowler. Um, we are scrambling around. It feels like we're scrambling around to try and find a replacement. Um, and to be honest with you, I would never, I've never thought about Lyndon Dykes potentially being a Blackburn Rovers player coming up this weekend. So uh, yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm on the fence here. I'm on the fence. Um, would I rather have Lyndon Dykes or nobody? then uh, no, I'll take Lyndon Dykes. I think I think depth is required. I think the addition of Lyndon Dykes does not damage any hopes for Jack Vale or Sam Gallagher. It just provides another body who has championship experience. He knows where the back of the net is and uh, he might suit. And uh, We might get the benefit out of him. Um, you know, uh, Ian Beale's fish and chips, Michael Beale, he might not might not play, you know, might not prefer to play uh, to play Lyndon Dykes, so it might not fit his own style, hence why he might be available for, for a potential transfer. But... Um, in, in Team GB, in Greg Broughton, we trust. Hopefully, he has a blueprint. Hopefully, he has a, a vision of, of what we're trying to create. And, of course, with the understanding of John Dodd Thomas and Angie B together, uh, hopefully, we can... Uh, we can uh, uh, find the right, the right, the right figure to lead our attack into this season. Again, it is a transitional season. I know we've been harp, well, I've been harping on about the fact that we top of the league for a little bit, but now, of course, we've crashed back down to earth in the last three games, losing three on the spin, and yet, and yet to score a goal in those last three games. So that is my major worry. We need a striker, a goal scorer, somebody who's composed in the middle of the box, and he allegedly is lethal uh, when it comes to the money shots right there at the end. So let's go. Let's back him. We'll back the move if it happens. If not, we'll move on. But anyway, guys and girls, this is my short, sharp take on, of course, Lyndon Dyke's potential move to Blackburn Rovers. Of course, stand by us. Of course, make sure you smash the old thumbs up, smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below, of course. And vote, vote, vote. Best content creator, best in video and best uh, football league. Business, business, business. I'm going to go. I'm here. I'm at work. Right there. See you later. I'm out.